All right, we got Ultimate Birthday Denjuma. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We're looking at a card that has four star skill moves with the five star weak foot, high medium wear grades, and he is 5'10. His current acceleration type is controlled explosive, 92 pace, 89 shooting, 85 passing, 90 dribbling, 80 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, it looks like we have another potential hidden gem from this promo. Not right there to me is another W, but as always, we will just have to wait and see. But he has some really good base pace stats and 90 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. Really happy about that for an 89 rated card in this game he has some really good base shooting stats and 90 attack positioning 91 finishing 90 shot power and 87 long shots pretty impressive for an 89 rated striker in this game as well i think his dribbling stats are amazing for this type of card as well with it being at 90 with 90 agility 85 balance 92 reactions 90 ball control 91 dribbling and 87 composure and when we do hop into his physical stats he does got 82 strength, which is something I'm very happy about. It goes to show you that this guy looks like he's not going to get knocked off the ball pretty easily. And that's something I'm really happy about for a striker in this game. Because obviously you want them to be really strong on the ball. So when they do get it in really key areas, they don't get knocked off. And just so they can finish. Let's get right into it. The recommended chemistry style for this card, in my opinion, has to be a hunter. Just so you can max out his pace and his shooting as much as possible. You're probably thinking, Cam, I'm really surprised that you didn't go for the dribbling upgrade. I've heard this guy's dribbling is amazing even without the dribbling upgrade. And I trust people's judgment. So I thought, you know what, I might as well put a hunter on this card. Just so I can max out other two key areas that you should upgrade when using this card. Starting off with the shooting, you get some really nice upgrades in his attack and positioning, finishing, and shot power. A plus four in his attacking positioning, a plus eight to his finishing, and a plus four to his shot power. I always mention this, guys, and I'm going to say once again, attacking positioning is one of the most underrated stats in this game. When you can upgrade it even more, so in this case, it goes from 90 to 94, it's going to allow this card's AI to be really smart in this game. So as a striker, I expect him to put himself into the right spaces on top of the box and inside the box and to make the right runs in behind the back line at the right time. With this finishing getting a plus eight going from 91 all the way up to 99, I expect this guy to be lights out inside the box, especially when you can have a striker that is consistent at finishing. That's already a major advantage in your favor when you are playing this game. Also, he does got a nice little cheeky plus four to his shot power. That's just going to complement well with his good finishing stats. You also do get some really good pace upgrades as well with a plus 8 to his acceleration and a plus 5 to his sprint speed. Bringing his acceleration from 90 to 98 and his sprint speed from 94 all the way up to 99. Whenever you can make a player as quick as possible, that's always a bonus in this game. And with those upgrades to his acceleration and sprint speed, I expect this guy to feel rapid when you are using him in this game. And that right there is another aspect of this card that I am really excited to try out. We do dive into his play styles. He has nine play styles and two play style pluses in the Power Shot Plus and the Rapid Plus. Obviously, the Power Shot Plus is pretty self-explanatory. Get this guy in really good positions to perform it, and it can be really effective for you. Really happy that this guy does got the Rapid Plus. Reaches even higher speed when dribbling and has greatly reduced chance of an error with sprinting or performing knock-ons. Combine this with this pace upgrade from the Hunter, I expect this guy to be extremely explosive. I expect this guy to be even quicker than what his card stats say, and I'm really excited to try it out because of this Rapid Plus playstyle. He's got the technical playstyle, so when you combine that with this already good dribbling stats, you can really utilize the control dribbling and the left stick dribbling to create a lot of space with this card. With the 90 agility, 85 balance, 91 dribbling, I expect this card's left stick dribbling to be fantastic. And once again, when you combine that with the technical play style and the control dribbling, you can be really effective with this card. He's got the flare trait, so they can be really good at those flick passes in your buildup. Also performs flare animations when contextually appropriate. So when defenders are closing on this card quickly, I expect this guy to take that quick touch to avoid them. And that right there is another bonus when it does come to this card. He's got the first touch. It's going to allow him to have a very good, consistent first touch. Relentless, so this guy's not going to get tired. But the way this card is, in my opinion, he's going to be better playing centrally. So I'm not really quite sure why he has his play style. Who knows? It could come in handy. He's got the incisive pass, which is something I'm really happy about. He does drop in a little bit deeper. And if your wingers do get in behind the back line, you can really utilize his play style to avoid a lot of interceptions. Because we all know how overpowered they are. And when you can avoid interceptions in this game, that's an advantage in your favor. Lastly, I'm really happy that he at least has one of the meta shooting play styles. He's got the finesse shot. So right foot, left foot, it does not matter. Cut inside from the right side, cut inside from the left side. Finesse it back post and it has a really good shot of going in. Also adds to the versatility aspect of finishing with this player. Like how I just mentioned, obviously we will be trying out Denjuma as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1. 
just so he can be our main focal point of our attack and just so i can test out his attacking ai as much as possible and with that being said let's hop into the gameplay and let's see how good this denjuma card can really be denjuma love that buy him love that let's go denjuma Love that Denjuma, that's beautiful. Now I like how you can really maneuver around with him. You can shift from side to side, get on either foot and finish. I like that about him already. Maybe people are right, you don't really need the dribbling upgrade to him. Denjuma, great run. That's lovely, let's go. Denjuma. Dude, his dribbling is fantastic. I love it. Denjuma. Our post. That's lovely. What a finish with this power shot. It doesn't even matter what foot you use, too. That's the crazy part. That's beautiful. Let's go. Denjuma, what a run into that space. Beats keeper. Love that. Denjuma. Love that. Cuts back. Our post. Love that. Really congested there in the box. He still manages to get a shot off. Go Denjuma. Love that. Let's go. That acceleration was crazy. That rapid plus definitely comes in handy with this card, boys. You can see it. Like, the way he just accelerated out of that step over was crazy. Go Denjuma. Great running behind the back line. Love that. He's using his dribbling. Love that. Let's go. Denjuma. Controlled. Finesse. Got box. Too easy for him. Too easy for him. Denjuma. Our post. Wow. Wow, what a bullet. Lovely finish. Let's go. Yes. Yes. There you go. Great run into that space. Finesse. Love that. Let's go. Nice running behind there. That is lovely, Denjuma. Great run by Denjuma in that space there. There you go. Love that. Through inside with Dybala. Still staying centrally, still staying centrally. That's interesting. Get it into him, bounce it back. Where does he move now? Runs into that space there. That's good space. Resets on top of the box now. Drip inside once again. Still staying central. That's interesting. He doesn't really drift out wide too much. I realized that. Go inside with him. Still staying central. Still staying central. Yeah, he's really sticky to that central position. Not a bad thing at all. I'll go back inside with him. Yeah, he's still saying central. That is actually pretty crazy. Juma. Yeah, just have a little bit of fun with them. Beautiful. Yes, guys. So after using this Dan Juma card, I can 100% say that this card is a hidden gem in this game. A lot of people are going to overlook this card because of how cheap he is on the market. And that is going to be one massive mistake. I think this card is going to be an absolute steal. And let me tell you guys all of the good things I like about this card. First of all, I think his pace feels absolutely electric. I think the pace boost from the Hunter definitely helps out this card a whole bunch. Even though he's already quick with his base pace being at 92. I honestly do think that with the upgrades, it does help out this card a lot. I think a lot of it is also influenced by the Rapid Plus playstyle. This playstyle alone just allows this guy to be even more rapid and a lot more explosive. You can really notice it when you are exiting out of skill moves. You can really notice it when you are using that explosive sprint. And you can really notice it when you are in space with this player. Not a lot of people are going to catch up to him. And that right there gives this card a massive advantage when you are using him in this game. Now, onto his finishing. I thought his finishing was pretty consistent. Once again, the upgrade from the Hunter definitely helps out this card. The finishing going from 91 to 99, you can definitely see that especially inside the box with this five star weak foot left foot right foot it does not matter inside the box he's extremely clinical you can really utilize that finesse shot inside the box as well left foot right foot once again it does not matter he is extremely clinical and when you can really utilize the power shot plus correctly with this card outside the box inside the box guys it can be really effective for you another thing i love about this card is his dribbling 
I thought his dribbling felt fantastic. I thought his lesser dribbling was amazing. I thought his control dribbling was amazing. And when you combine the lesser dribbling with the control dribbling with the technical playstyle, you can create a lot of space with this card and that allows this card to be so effective in this game. People told me how he doesn't even need a dribbling upgrade for him to feel really nice on the ball. And they were absolutely right. So make sure when you guys are playing with this card, you don't even have to touch his dribbling. Just focus on the areas that are definitely in need for an upgrade. Lastly, another thing I did like about this card was his strength. I did find that he was getting knocked off the ball easily. Overall, guys, honestly, I really love this card. Like how I mentioned before, a lot of people are going to overlook this card for some random reason. Mainly because he is really cheap on the market. You can pick this guy up between 20 to 35k. That is an absolute bargain for a card like this. You're getting a guy that has very good pace. He's really good in space. You can run by anybody with him. His shooting is fantastic. He's really clinical inside the box. Left foot, right foot, especially with the five star weak foot once again. His dribbling is fantastic. He's 5'10". He's really responsive on the ball. A lot of things that are going right for this player. And lastly, his physical does feel really good as well. You're getting an explosive, powerful striker for a really cheap price tag. And I need you guys to go out and pick up this card. He is a hidden gem. And please do not make the same mistake a lot of people are going to make in this game. And that mistake is not picking up this card. So go out and pick up this card. He's really cheap. And I'm telling you guys right now, he will help you guys a lot in this game. That being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe for more EAFC content. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.